I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. This is heavy. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? Oh, jeez. A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Let's do it. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Whew, that was some heavy stuff. Jeez. A bit further. Follow me. Following you, sir. Child, a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now, I've done wrong. Plowing now. The grave's dug up, and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. Oh, man. Look! Wow. It'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll come with magic. Uh, maybe I should just kill it. it. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods. Back to the fortress. What? Okay. With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. Okay. 
Okay. Check if I had something. Look at that thing, man. Look at that thing. Maybe to take the good route. We're gonna have to kill it. We're gonna turn it into a lumber gun. Ah, oh, shit, not again. Need to hurry. All with it. Hold up, let's do the devours. Made it. Now it's time to turn it into a lubberkin. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. This is a lot better thee, than killing it. Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter.
say this bloody baron was a bad dude. I like this guy. I like him. You know, he's got his faults, but we all do. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. The guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Sit and wait. Blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Hope it's a little better looking. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. I guess it's cuter. Shut up. How dare you. You know what? I'm gonna slap all you sons of bitches on the way back. Leverkin, where are you taking me? You. Shut up, everybody. Jesus. This drowner. Lead the way, lead the way. Search the area uh, around the smokehouse using your witcher senses. Bracelet. Bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. And clothing. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something more. Lead the way, Leprechaun. Here. Hey, we can follow with Roach. Oop, don't want to do that. Don't let that horse calm down. Come on. Go, go. All right, 
I definitely don't need a horse here. With him yelling at it. Saddle ribs, legs, head. Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Let's go, Lumberkin. Got ambushed by a wolf. of them. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Look around the fisherman's hut. I don't see anything. Actually, around it, knowing I could just walk in. Who's that? Another room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure. Not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about twenty. Her mother's thin, about forty. Seen them? Sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet boy. <sighs> Who'd you see the scary I'll stay with you what happened to her. Where'd oh. the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir. But you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. 
I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another type. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. <clears throat> Tell me about these marks. What marks? These well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand. Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. All right. What happened next? Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden, and then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. Willy -nilly. For the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother. But my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. Why did that? Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted, it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. All right, thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. All right. <clears throat> uh, find some the Baron's are Talk to the Baron about his family. All right. Hey, so here our paths game. diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Alright, see ya. Got a point. Let's see what we can do here. I was working on that fast uh, attack. What else is here? Strong. Arrow deflection, lightning next time, time slowed by initial, well, even the crossbow. Control on point, lost penalty. Now I'm gonna do the fast attack. So I use that the most right now. Alright, received 300 experience points. Where's Roach at? Roach! Roach! Alright. 
Let's go talk to the Baron. Here we are. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. Hey, some crowns. Always take some crowns. Alright, so. Ooh. Move on. Go talk to the Baron. Witcher, a word, please. Oh, what's the shit? Believe we've not had the pleasure. They call me the sergeant. Left over from my army days, you understand. When me and Philip, the meaning baron, served under a Temerian banner. Wanted to ask you about something. Alright, what is it? What is it? That night, when the baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there, the place. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Listen, he was sober one day. You're talking like he's been... five years sober. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Okay, death of family members always hurt. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taking them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Alright, gotta talk about your family. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Calm down. Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again. No intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. 
I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. All right, I'll go. Not much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this. Call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Ciri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Ciri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. <clears throat> that lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size, why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> but who goes boar hunting with a sword? No a bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where they teach you that, anyway? At Care Morhen. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. I'm the exception. They made an exception for me. Right. Me to say you're a she-witcher. Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. <coughs> Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. I've but never one. seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Yikes. Perhaps you'd care to wager. Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. <sighs> Coward? That's good. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to be old. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'm not taking my sword. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Whoop the Baron's bloody ass. We're gonna call him the bloody ass Baron. The day dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Mount up. Regulators, mount up. Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us?
Your wind, not woman. <sighs> Worthy that of was the bad. best horse. The mare is yours. Almost lost that being an Thank idiot. You. What? She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it. Some lie. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh oh, I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry, I'll find Anna too. <laughs> Let's play Gwent. I do not want to play Gwent. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land. Take control before long. Sure as we've all got ourselves, they will. <laughs> How'd you wind up here? How'd you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the Perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else every which way they turn. So long. Alright, I'm gonna stop it there to play a little bit of Overwatch. Um, gonna take a three minute break, bio break, and uh, I'll be right back. See you guys in a minute.